And from a concept standpoint, I think it's a great concept. Howdy, I'm Andy Lee with Family History Fanatics. And my wife went to Roots Tech a little while ago. And from that, she you know, was introduced to some new companies, some new technologies, some additions onto some of the previous websites. And she shared some of those with me. And today's video is about Genext or Gen XT. My question here today, and her question really is, hey, is this a new genetic genealogy tool that is going to be useful? Now, in a nutshell, what she described to me is that this company allows you to compare your DNA matches across platforms. That sounds a lot like GEDmatch. And that's what I thought she was talking about at first, but she knows the difference between GEDmatch and this other company. And she actually talked with some of the people at GEDmatch. So if it's not that, is it just a company that is similar to GEDmatch? I went to their website and reviewed over what information they have. Now this is their website, genxt.network. And as you scroll down, they tell you a little bit about it, that, hey, it allows you to add this DNA matching service, data collaboration, computer networking across the web, confidential computing, lots of key things. From this, I really couldn't tell what it was they were selling or providing, so I, I watched their video. On their video, they go through and talk about their process. And they recognize the fact that, hey, there's lots of different DNA companies and really one of the most popular genetic genealogy tools is matching. I would actually say that is a critical tool because without matching, you really don't have anything to do with genetic genealogy. You just have something that does with genetics. But in any case, their video focused a lot on the security of their computer networks and the process of how this actually works to be able to facilitate comparing your DNA on one platform to matches on another platform. And that's where it was getting to me to where I wasn't sure that this was actually a product for the consumer so much as it was for DNA testing companies. As I go down and look at the rest of their website, there was a book a demo, which you fill in a contact form and I guess they will set up a demonstration of their technology for you. But one thing I did not find is how do I create a login or whatever that I need in order to use this? When I click on their login, it gives me a place that I can put in my username and password, but not to set up a username and password. So that was a dead end. In the about us, it just tells a little bit about the company. And so in the end, I'm left with sort of a conundrum of, hey, on the surface, what they're talking about sounds good. In other words, basically providing a platform that you can share DNA information with other websites. But unlike GEDmatch, it is not consumer driven. In other words, I'm not uploading my DNA data to their website. They are facilitating a link between two other websites. And that's where I think there's going to be some problems because what it sounds to me is, is, hey, in order for this service to work, they need buy-in from the testing companies. Now, they mentioned that there's something like 250 testing companies out there, which I... I'm not going to dispute because there's a lot of little ones and certain little niche ones, but really for genetic genealogy, there's only five that really matter. Ancestry, 23andMe, Family Tree DNA, MyHeritage, and Living DNA. All the other testing companies that I actually have ever heard of all are just admixture or just some health related. They are not a matching service to be able to share matches across them. I'm wondering what kind of incentive any of these companies would have to do this. For instance, Ancestry is the largest testing company with roughly 20 million people in their database, far outstripping the number two and certainly the number three. Why would they participate? They already have the largest number of people that are in their database. If this company is going to make money, then they're either charging Ancestry or they're charging the consumer. And what they're providing from Ancestry's perspective is, hey, you can match with some smaller databases, which isn't going to give you near as many matches as what Ancestry already gives you. And I'll be honest, with Ancestry's size of their database and their matches, 
it's more than I'm going to be able to get through in my lifetime. So I don't necessarily see the, the need for that. Again, from some of the smaller companies, yeah, it would be great. But if the large companies don't buy in, then there's really not much benefit for the smaller companies at all. And so my conclusion is, is I really don't see this as becoming a useful tool because again, there's no incentive for the major testing companies that do matching to participate in it. And it seems like this is something that has to have that kind of buy-in. I could be wrong, but from the surface, from what Devin has told me about it and from what I've read about on their website, again, it's limited. And from watching their videos on the website, I don't think that this is going to change genetic genealogy. I don't see that it's going to be used by any company or, or really most consumers that are involved in genetic genealogy in the near future. Maybe they'll make some changes, but that's the way I see it right now. I encourage you know companies to innovate and provide new technology. And there's obviously some computer science behind this as far as you know what they're talking about and making everything secure and being able to share a cross platform like that. And from a concept standpoint, I think it's a great concept. But from an actual implementation standpoint, I don't see how it's actually going to be implemented in a useful manner. Now, if you like this video and you want to learn about another new tool, then you can watch this video up here. Be sure to subscribe. And if you want to join FHF Extra, it's only $2.99 a month. Just click on the join button down below.